What's up, guys? It's your boy Alien CX back again with another video. The video we're gonna be watching today is gonna be by one of my boys, which you can see in the channel. And today, the video we're gonna be watching involves the pink sauce lady again doing what she does best either trying to kill somebody, doing crazy shit, making terrible, terrible fruits, or find a different way to just make a life just works for herself and other people. I'm going to get directly into this video, give you guys my opinion on it, and just get directly into it. You guys already know what to do already. And also, as I always say, if you want a chance to be in the next video, all you got to do is just watch the video to the end. And when you get the keyword that we're going to have in the video, you're going to be able to, and you type it in the description, you're going to be able to have a chance to be in the next video. So yeah, let's get directly into this shit though. Let's go, my mint. The pink sauce was created for way more than just your taste buds, even though it tastes absolutely amazing. The pink sauce... Cap. I call cap. Fuck no. Fuck no. Based off if you watch the videos and shit that she's done, majority of the people I've ever been saying, even my boy created it, the, we created the pink sauce. And that shit is definitely not amazing. I don't know why the hell they're letting us still fucking redo that shit or still give the shit to human beings and let them consume it. But the world's a sad, 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 dangerous place, my boy. Dragon fruit literally healed me. The billion dollar global company fell without me. It wasn't pink. It was like uh, not pink. Well, guys, we're somehow back. And no, I don't mean that in a good way. Today, we are back talking about somebody who has sort of unexpectedly become a regular on this channel. However, that might be ending today. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you've read the title. The Pink Sauce anime has been extended for a final season. And boy, is it one that's not very, very fun to watch. Now, we've been documenting this sort of rise and fall of the Pink Sauce Lady, aka Chef Pai, over the last couple of years, and it's it's been a storied one, for sure. She went viral, she was getting people sick, she was shipping things in ways things have no business being shipped. The sauce randomly appeared in Walmart, it was a complete flop. She said she went broke, she said the company distributing the pink sauce was scamming her. It was a whole thing. Then like two months ago, I tried her new pink sauce, the one she's made to sort of circumvent the fact that she sold the original one to some random distributor, and that was one of the worst decisions of my life. That stuff was fucking terrible and now as i just exactly said bro why the fuck i feel like if, if you bought that shit let me know in the descri description you try to yourself let me know because one i'm not gonna try that shit because i'm not not buying i don't really buy stuff from companies in general mostly when it comes to youtuber companies because majority of the times it's very ass the only one i can probably say that i got a little bit addicted to for a good while was fucking prime bro and prime you can tell that shit has a lot of fucking sugars and prime has his own fucking demons and problems itself bro but at the same time bro i don't know why she keeps trying back to back to recreate this sauce maybe she just wants to get the fame back and get the money back but nobody wants this fucking shit bro just being honest now we're here. A seven minute long video that Chef Pie uploaded to TikTok recently, and it is, uh, it is, it's something, that's for sure. Now, the reason that I say this might be Chef Pie's last appearance on this channel is because I feel like this video is a pretty good place to end it. Unless she comes back with something real crazy, like the green sauce, maybe. It's kind of just getting sad, but I feel like this whole Chef Pie situation should almost be treated as like a case study on how not to use your internet virality to boost whatever business you're trying to create. So, for what might just be the last time, let's take a look at what Chef Pie has to say. Let's begin. Please subscribe. To all of y'all that be saying, oh, just give up. Throw it out. Biggest flop ever. Put the fries in a bag. Da -da 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 -da. All of this stuff to try to discourage me from going forward to my dreams, baby, do you? Yeah, no, they're not discouraging you. I don't, I don't really tell you into them, but they're just trying to give you a better job opportunity on what to do because obviously you need to stop selling fucking food products and whichever the company that is like, oh yeah, let's keep helping with the food products, but I, wa I want to see y'all so they can slap you across the face with my balls, my boy. It's like, no. Put the bag in the fries, bro. Stop this. Get some help and stop poisoning people with your sauce. You realize that I have a competitor that's a billion dollar go global company that's been established for decades and decades or maybe even a hundred years? 
Okay. He's gonna say ketchup because you're he, gonna say ketchup or some dumb shit like that, bro. I'm gonna say, bro, you you delusional, one, man. I'm just gonna be honest with you, you delusional. Okay, so when I first heard this, I was really confused. I had to step back for a moment and really think what this could possibly mean. At first, I thought she was just referring to the fact that there are other sauce companies out there and she's competing with them, but no. The billion dollar global company she's referring to here is Walmart. I guess she's saying that Oops. because they're selling her old sauce, but I don't really think that it's fair to call someone your competitor when they're trying to get rid of the product that's, quote, competing with you as exactly. fast as humanly possible. Possible. Walmart does not actively sell pink sauce anymore. They are not buying it anymore. Any stock that some stores might have left over, they're selling for like a nickel. Walmart is out of the pink sauce game because it was such an insane flop. Nobody's competing with you in this market, Chef Pie. Exactly. Do you understand that? Do you understand that I am the only person that can bring the real pink sauce how it's supposed to be bright? Bro, majority of your shit is... Majority of the entire recipe is literally fucking... Is it ranch or some shit, bro? I think mayonnaise or some dumb shit like that, bro. Come on, bro. Let's be honest about one thing, bro. The pink sauce was something that was mostly based on one thing. Food coloring and just fucking mayonnaise, my boy. It's not in fucking... The only thing that made it sick is that it looked like fucking pe pepper... Be it looked like fucking pepper... Fucking bismol. Why can I not fucking say that word, bro? In general... And it looked appealing from a fucking child point of view when you dip it in the shit. But that shit was ass, bro. And Walmart is not definitely does not care about you, bro. They 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 trying to they're like, bro, let's get let's let's get the shit the fuck out the doors, get the shit off our shelves, cause you pretty much just fucking. I won't lie though, you are the goodest best scam artist of all time, cause you stooped the fuck out of them and making them think that they should allow themselves to fully endorse that crazy ass fucking shitty sauce of yours. But so good job on that one. I am beautiful in color to fruition because God gave me this vision. The billion dollar global company fell without me. It wasn't pink. It was like, uh, not pink. It was coral. Okay. Uh, that's not, that's definitely not the reason why they failed. It is definitely the reason why they failed. They failed because one, your sauce is ass and two in general, they're dumb enough. For some dumb reason, they chose it was a good idea to put the entire eggs in you. When you have no formal training and one in the business, creating more stuff that's gonna be more appealing to your market and to when your product itself was getting people fucking killed and I mean I won't say killed bro, I'll say sick as fuck bro. Allegedly bro, like come on man, don't lie to yourself. I don't think that's the reason that the pink sauce failed. Also, saying Walmart failed without you is, is just insane. I wish Walmart would fail without you, Chef Pie. I hate that store. If you could get that in motion, that'd be wonderful. But unfortunately, they are nowhere near failing. And I don't think the lack of you being involved was the reason that the pink sauce failed. I think the pink sauce failed because it was awful. I tried your new and improved version of the pink sauce. I can pretty safely say that you being on board was not going to make it any better. Also, I don't know why she's so hung up on the the fact that it wasn't as pink in stores yeah that's what happens when you actually regulate how you're making your product the company tried to forsake me and do things behind my back the deal went horrible the pink sauce is not even in walmart anymore okay so this is where we really start to go off the deep end here she opens up this video by saying that walmart is her biggest competitor and then she acknowledges that they're not even selling the sauce anymore i feel like you've got to pick one was i contacted about it was i notified about it no I'm gonna pause right here momentarily you're not motivated they didn't tell you about because of one thing they're like why the fuck would we tell you about this? You're, you're the last thing they're worried about right now. The main thing they're worried about is, oh, yeah, we just invested a bunch of money in this dumbass fucking shit. And the main thing we got to do is find a way to recuperate all that money back that we just lost by, by like, they're not going to ask for your own opinion because you're the one that made them lose money because you're the one that fucked up everything because you did not know shit about the business you were doing. So, yeah, they're not going to be asking for your opinion so you can fuck it up more, so... Yeah, that's probably why.
There's not a chance in hell you can guess what this lady is about to say next. Rewind it 10 seconds if you need to really, really think about what she just said. And then have a guess in your mind. Okay? You ready? All they did was send me emails each week every to see how they could scheme me and I ignored them. I wish I could do like an office style stare at the camera bit right here. I mean, really, I'm not trying to be too hard on this lady. But when you just listen to her talk about her business plan, it's not a fucking mystery why this sauce failed. Okay, so let me get this straight. You claim that they never reached out to you about any developments, anything going on with the business, and then... Well, you just said that they fucking emailed you. If they emailed... If they fucking emailed you, that means that they literally did reach out. Do, why do you keep going the yin and yang what you're saying? But one minute is like, they didn't do this, but they really actually did. They didn't do this, but they really actually did. It's like, I don't think you know what the hell you're talking about, though. I really don't think you know what the hell you're talking about. In the same breath, you say that they emailed you every week and you just ignored them? I'm not joking when I say that I think like a seven-year-old could probably figure out the problem there. Now, as for me, I realize that I am very comfortable in the decisions that I will be making going forward. And every great person have to go through a storm. Like, these trials and these tribulations that I've been facing, like, you on the, you did not go to no fucking storm, bro. You, you made a fucking sauce for TikTok, my boy. You made a sauce for TikTok. There's nothing that serious in general, bro. You didn't even get any consequences that much for making a sauce. You made a sauce, you made money off of it. You, spawn, you scam people off the money because you wasted all the fucking money. And then you try to scam them, making them... To help you find a way to give you more money, and then you went on TV when somebody called you out for your sauce being bad, and then found a way to to make that person to bully that person too. You didn't go through that shit, bro. Stop acting like you you went through something crazy. You were trying trying fucking vying through something. So acting like this is not a big deal, bro. It's just a shitty sauce you made that right now nobody cares about anymore. But you still want to be a success for some weird reason, bro. Listen, the pink sauce ain't made one sale this month. Not yeah, we all know that, bro. Like, I can tell because nobody wants to buy that shit, bro. One single sale, but guess what? I still post my product. I still post and do what I have to do because I believe in my my vision. No. That should let you know that one or two options. I'm going to give you a delusional and one that makes common sense. One, you say... Uh, fuck. I guess this shit is dead. Let me move on. Try to move on with my life and find a different way to make my platform go up in general. Maybe pink at, pink catch up, create a different business plan. I'll find a different way to make it a lot more sicker or something. To wave at people, some reason. I'm not going to buy that shit, but I'm not going to even lie to you. Well, the second option I was going to tell you in general is. Just stop fucking making sauces, bro. Nobody wants to eat your sauces, bro. Like, just stop, please. I believe in my brand. And most importantly, when the world gets to experience it, when I have that conversation with... No, when you put, your, when you put cameras in front of people's faces and force them to say, Oh, yeah, it's incredible. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, I mean, like, the sauce. Can you get the camera the fuck out of my face? The person who could get me to where I need to be when I meet that investor or when God give me the opportunity. Listen, it only takes one day for you. You already met the investor. The guy that literally helped you find a way to fucking make this entire sing sauce bullshit happen. You already had people that literally wanted their way to help you and you found a way to still fuck it up. So what are you talking about, bro? Even if that happens, is what you, I just think you're going to just find a way to fuck it up again, bro. So just stop. Please stop your entire life to change okay so i'm not trying to be like super discouraging here but i feel like what i'm gonna say is is pretty relevant i feel like there's this misconception that if you work hard enough if you put your nose to the grindstone for a long enough time eventually everything's gonna pay off even if you have to shave your whole face off in the process eventually you'll be successful and that's just not guaranteed now that shouldn't be a reason to not work hard or follow your dreams i think everybody should do their best to follow their dreams and make the most of the life they're 
you're given. But there's also a point where you've got to reflect and be like, okay, I had my shot. I blew it. The stars will likely not align again. And that might sound like me being kind of mean, but I mean, let's really look at the facts here. This lady had a very rare opportunity where she got in front of millions upon millions of people basically overnight with a unique product. And in spite of nobody liking it and her getting ridiculed across the entire internet for many reasons, including the sauce being bad, which might be the most important one, but also her endangering people for not shipping it correctly, there being seemingly no control in how this is made, with the color and the consistency of the sauce constantly changing, with her public image going to absolute shit after she appeared on that talk show and she made a complete fool of herself. In spite of all of that, she still was able to sell her sauce to a distributor and get in the biggest store in America, and it still failed. Opportunities that people in your line of work dream about fell into your lap because of TikTok, and it didn't work out. Finding a different investor or a different distributor or talking to the right people, that's not going to change anything. You've proven over the last couple of years that the fault lies on you. You, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Everything that's happened is because of you. You are the reason why you're fucking this shit up, bro. You've had all this golden ass opportunities, bro. It's because of you. You just make bad, mad fucking business decisions. And I'm being honest, though, I feel like what she probably should have did is literally just fucking kept on using, kept on creating a terrible fucking sauce, posting videos on fucking TikTok or whatever the fuck she posts, posts on. Showing the sauce, dip, dipping it in chicken nuggets and different stuff, but don't actually release it. If she did that and she never released the sauce, but she kept on it, eating the sauce with a bunch of different fucking unique stuff. She could have literally made it into a views into where everybody's like, oh yeah, I wish I really, I really want to try that sauce out. But you make it to where they don't get a chance to try it out because they don't get to see how terrible that shit probably tastes. You probably, would have, probably could have still made a lot more money off of it, off of making videos and just being like, oh, my new so, so, so fucking sauce. You fucking eat it, you say it's fucking incredible, but people do not clear after. Because it, it looks appealing, but the sauce itself is probably fucking terrible, my boy. You probably should have just done that. Made it probably, you probably will just scam a bunch of people off of YouTube views and not actually try to kill them themselves, bro. I'm just being honest. Ooh, you're the problem, Chef Pai. I'm sorry. And now I'm just moving forward to greater things. I do believe that the pink sauce will be globally distributed no. around the world. I no. do believe that people in the world will be able to taste my amazing invention. I truly, truly no, believe not. because the pink sauce was created for way more than just your taste buds, even though it tastes absolutely amazing and the color is beautiful and there are so many things that yeah i'm pretty sure if i buy a sauce but i'm not buying a sauce for anything else but the fact of just to use the sauce to do sauce stuff bro and i'm gonna be like oh my gosh this pig sauce is so damn good i'm as well i'm as well fucking dip my balls inside of it and see if it adds it if it helps my fucking balls grow bigger oh my gosh it does like no it is for consumption it's for fucking consumption that would be the only reason I'll use it, bro. Like, what the fuck? That you can do with it. The pink sauce, dragon fruit literally healed me. Dragon fruit literally changed my entire life. And I'm going to share that journey with y'all. Okay, we're we're really starting to get a little wacky here. Uh, the pink sauce is not just for taste buds. It's a fucking healing product now. The pink sauce turned my ass into a nuclear reactor. Maybe I call snake oil salesman it also helped bro. it also helped my cancer and it also made my dick go bigger bro sister this is a full on um fuck that shit again bro pink also it's a salesman type shit bro no it is not i mean the dragon food in there it, i can understand because people do say dragon ball food is good is good for this this and this but not gonna show you whatever's in that sauce that made it good you probably already killed it the fuck out I'm not gonna lie you probably already made it you find a way to, to fucking just minus it out of it and you know, bro. Please just stop. Just get some help, man. Maybe I bought the wrong version. Maybe instead of the healing version, I bought the evil pink sauce because that shit did not heal me. I can guarantee you that. Damn near had to buy a new toilet. But this is my mission on earth to help y'all and y'all don't even see it. I went to, through so many dark times in my life, so many experiences that I never share with y'all. So many things that I didn't open up to say. And somebody put a comment. I'm not going to lie to you, though. If you went through all of that, 
not to be a dick, but you should have posted more on that. Let people get to know you more. You create your brand more on create it, create your brand more on the business side of it. To where it's, it, it kind of like, it's, kind of, it's kind of like fucking like Red Bull type shit. Where like people get to fall in love with the product more for the person and less for having to be with the product itself. Because it's obviously you do not make a fucking good product. product. Your product your product is completely dog shit. It's terrible. But if you make if you market it in a good way, in a way that still fucking made it kind of like a mom on pops type fucking situation, and made people fucking feel sympathy for you, maybe then you could you could have gotten some money out more off of it, off of your your project being. Let's say your project is fucking dog shit. Probably should did but more of that instead of making terrible terrible TikToks about a terrible sauce that nobody wanted anyway, or no people do not even know shit about. So yeah. I know my post where I was like, I don't give a crap or whatever. I don't give a monkey tushy and all of that, right? Like, oh, isn't it too late for you to say, like, you don't care? It's never too late for you to say you don't care. No, because at when before, I could say I care. Like, I was taunted. I was going through so much that I didn't share with the world that I didn't say. Well, I'm really proud of you, Chef Pie. You've done what is... Yeah, you want me to support your product, and you're telling me that I I don't I don't care anymore. I don't care, duh, bitch. I am not so I'm not being with your fucking product. Why the fuck would I want to eat something or consume something into my human my human specimen type of body? If you don't give a shit about what the fuck you're making, like what the fuck? No. Considered normal for 99.99% .99 of humans on the planet. This is my biggest pet peeve with content creators, and I guess like anybody with a following, any sort of celebrity, I guess. When they say stuff like this, I just roll my eyes. Oh, you didn't share with your audience what you were going through during this, this, and that? Congratulations, you're a normal fucking person. Majority of the population will never tell the world of all of their struggles. Everybody. I don't know what you're talking about, my boy, my boy. Don't you know that yesterday I went through so much pain? My balls got big, and it got smashed across the wall. I don't really share my pain that much, because every time I fuck 28 bitches, because <laughs> of my ever humongous fucking cock that's bigger than fucking the universe, the pain kills me. But I don't share it because of I'm just not somebody to talk about how much of a big ding dingling that I have, man. I know, I know, I know. <gasps> like, people don't give a shit, my boy. People don't care. Everybody goes. Everybody is going through shit. Every human being has shit they're going through. Sorry to tell you this, boo. -hoo. We do not care. We do not care. We do not care. Everybody has their struggles. You're not special because you keep your hardships off TikTok. That's just called being normal. And so now I can say I don't care. I don't care about their opinions. They could tell me to put the fries in a bag a million times. Thank you for helping me manifest because I want like five different restaurants, okay? And we will be... Oh, I'm sorry to tell you this. When we said put the fries in the bag, what we mean is get that big Mickey D at put on your head and say, Pada wam pom pom, I'm loving it. Pada wam pom pom, I'm loving it. I mean, you get your ass at McDonald's because you're going to be a McDonald's worker. In general, but hey, may maybe you being be a McDonald's worker will probably help you create a new entire sauce, bro. That will help you fucking know how to make sauces that won't fucking kill a human being's fucking body and specimen, entire soul. But hey, Pada Wam Pum Pum, oh, I'm loving it. Serving fries nine times out of ten in like three of the establishments. So I really, really thank you for bringing that into fruition for me for the things to work out. Okay? Uh, no. Not okay. I'm actually pretty confused as to what was just said to me. So, five restaurants. That's the goal. Fine. That, that's okay. How the pink sauce ties into that, not really sure. 90% of the time, we're gonna be serving fries at three of the establishments. Okay. I see some of your business expertise coming into this one. That's an awful plan. What if I want fries and I come in on one of the three days out of the month that you guys don't serve fries? What are you gonna say to me? No, you don't get fries. Come back tomorrow. What the fuck? Awful idea. Now, honestly, the rest of this video is 
pretty much just her lying over and over again. First, she says she's contacted Keith Lee, and then she immediately follows that up by saying, if you want to see Keith Lee try the pink sauce, please tag him. And those two things seem sort of counterproductive. Then she starts talking about how she knows that pink sauce is going to be a global phenomenon. She's going to be able to find it in every corner of the planet. How she has people writing her every day about the pink sauce. Just more of the same stuff we've heard before. And it's just kind of sad to see. She had this massive opportunity where if she would have just listened to some of the criticism she was receiving, the outcome of all of this could have been completely different. But instead, we've gotten two years of zero accountability and this narrative that the reason the pink sauce failed is because everybody's out to get Chef Pie and she's been wronged at every turn. Anybody who's watched all this go down in real time knows who to point the finger at. Well, guys, what do you think? Is this the last we'll be seeing of the pink sauce lady? Hopefully it is. Thank you guys for watching this video. You guys are actually leaving my ass. One thing, you guys, you guys are fucking incredible, bro. We are so close to getting to fucking 2,000 subscribers, bro. So, love you guys, man. I mean, I love you guys. Can hit that like and hit that sub button, bro. I thank you guys so much for supporting me for those years that do support me, bro. And the video, the end of this video is going to be Sprite. Sprite my pink sauce. If you watch the video to the, the end of the video, just type Sprite my pink sauce. You have a chance to be in the next video, my man. Thank you guys for watching this. It's been about Alien CX and peace to fudge out my family, bro. Don't take no pink sauce, my boy. Your butt will fucking kill you and we will regret it.